Hello everyone and welcome to Madden 23 and the Washington Commanders franchise. I am super excited to have Madden back on the channel. Haven't had it here since Madden 16. And the Washington Commanders are starting a brand new season with not only a new owner, but a brand new head coach, Gerard Mayo. Got the phone call from Washington and decided it was time to take his defensive talents to the Commanders. He is going to be absolutely perfect for this job. I think Gerard Mayo is going to be a head coach in absolutely no time. So why not take him down here to Washington? We're going to take a look at what schemes he will be running this year. The West Coast Power Run is an 84% scheme fit, so that's what we are going to run with. Uh, Kansas City offensive playbook. I will try to play around these playbooks as much as possible, but he's also going to be bringing over a defensive playbook from New England. He is obviously very familiar with that, and it gives you a little bit of versatility between the 3-4 and the 4-3 sets. Uh, one thing to also look out for with the uh, West Coast power run is we can run with Andy Reid's playbook here. A lot of shotgun for this offense now let's go ahead and take a look at some of these defensive studs that we have on this team starting off with jonathan allen a huge defensive tackle a great power rush in the inside part of this defensive line it's going to be clear that our defense is going to be the strong suit of this team here in year number one Jonathan Allen, the number two overall defensive tackle in all of football, and uh, we're going to need him to lead that way if we're trying to get back to the playoffs. Now, Chase Young is coming into year number three out of Ohio State. Him and Montez Sweat bookend this defensive line, and I could not be more excited to have such a playmaker on this defensive line as Chase Young young i think we really need him to have a great year super young already ranked number five defensive end in the league at 87 overall he has all of the tools that we will need as we continue to chase our way back into the playoffs here in washington now this defense is great up front at least the defensive line we have some question marks elsewhere, and we got to start looking for some additions uh, as we move forward. I have a lot of questions about this secondary. Kendall Fuller going to be one of the veterans in that secondary out of Virginia Tech going into year number seven. I really like his versatility, good man coverage, good zone coverage, great play recognition as well. Number 12th ranked quarterback in all of football, and I really think he can help grow some of these other members of the secondary. It's just a very thin group of corners right now. Now let's take a look at the offense. Terry McLaurin is going to be here for quite a while. He signed a contract extension in the off season. So that is here and Scary Terry is going to be catching passes here in a commander's uniform for the foreseeable future. Now he is labeled a deep threat and I really want to see if we can get him more in that playmaker mentality and really fit into the scheme that we are trying to run here in Washington. But can't say enough about him. He is an absolute stud and he has a great ability with a football either in his hands or not. Now let's take a look at some of the young guys here in a, the commander's uniform. Johan Dotson, first round draft pick. He is a playmaker and did he make some plays in Penn State last season? I am very excited to see the development trait here for Johan Dotson. I think we could get a lot out of this rookie. He is going to be playing a lot in the slot here in year number one. Uh, not a huge growth uh, for the wide receivers or there's not a lot of growth for the wide receivers uh, besides uh, Scary Terry and Johan Dotson but let's take a look while we're talking about growth uh, at one of the linebackers last season that caught a lot of heat uh, he played out of position at outside linebacker at times ended up getting 104 tackles 76 solo 
Yamin Davis. I think Yamin Davis is an absolute star in the making. I want to see what he can do here with a full season at middle linebacker and really see if he can get back to that ability he had when he was at Kentucky. I'm not saying he played bad last year. I definitely think he was a solid point, but he also has some room for improvement in this defense as well. So super excited to see what he has to offer. Now let's take a look at this offense and defense as a whole. Offensively, the quarterback room is not really that much of a surprise. We're going to hold on to Taylor and Sam Howell as well. I played a little bit with Sam Howell in the preseason. Liked what I saw, honestly. But let's take a look at Carson Wentz and really what he can do for this offense going forward. Now, running back room, Gibson had a bit of a problem with fumbles last season, and we haven't really addressed too much of the running back situation here in Washington just yet. We do have some other options, obviously, with Robinson, but we'll have to wait and see. I really hope that Gibson is going to be the answer for us this year. He has a nice bounce back year and is stable with his ball carrying. Offensive line here is okay. It's not super deep, and that is definitely something that is kind of scary going into the season. We're not really sure. Uh, quarterback situation with Carson Wentz, and then did not necessarily know that, that offensive line is going to be as strong. Kind of put some question marks for me. What doesn't give me any question marks is this defensive line. I We talked about it earlier. Montez Sweat on the right end, Chase Young on the left end, and they are bookending two monster defensive tackles in Allen and Payne. I am super excited for this defensive line. I really want to just let them go, get after the quarterback, and uh, see what kind of havoc they can wreak here in the NFC East. Now, the front seven as a whole gets kind of taken down a bit because of these linebackers. Not the strongest group of linebackers in football, not the strongest group of linebackers in the NFC East. I definitely think there is room to grow for some of these guys and uh, excited to see if that growth will happen early on in this franchise. Depth is a big problem here in the defensive secondary. I think Kyle Fuller is, like I said earlier, going to be a great veteran for us. Jackson is a stud in uh, the preseason games that I played. And uh, really, the safety positions seem to be pretty solid. It's just overall depth here um, with the commanders that we have to start thinking about. How do we get more playmakers on both sides of the football? Speaking of playmakers, let's take a look at return. Erickson is going to be getting the majority of the return opportunities here to start the season. Dotson is not really a guy that I want to see in that position just because I do want to see him flourish as a wide receiver and I don't want him to be injured. So we'll have to see if Erickson struggles. Maybe we go out, maybe we sign somebody else to take care of that. Now our specialist is offensively, Dotson going to be in the slot, not really too much of a surprise there. Third down back will be Gibson, although I do think we'll be able to play with exactly who's going to be the third down back in certain situations. And Robinson, the young guy, is going to be the power back in some of our situations as well. I do want to start looking at some of these additional defensive, the dime and nickel defense packages that we are running and seeing what we can do for Holcomb. Um, I want to see if we can get some of these sub linebackers moved around. Um, I wish we had more guys. I'm talking about depth one more time uh, to kind of move in these situations. But hopefully we have a lot of these young men grow into these positions as we move forward with the franchise. Now, when it came to the practice squad, I was able to go find some studs after the last preseason game and uh, really excited for what I found. Joshua Kelly out of UCLA. I watched him absolutely tear it up in a Bruins uniform. I think he's a good find for us and he's good to just have on deck. Again, we are going to be continuously looking for playmakers here with the Commanders franchise. KJ Osborne, another guy, former Miami Hurricane. His, I believe, last year of eligibility here on the practice squad. Hopefully, we don't necessarily have to use those guys, but we will obviously 
keep an eye out. Let's take a look at the schedule moving forward. We're obviously going to be opening things up with the Jacksonville Jaguars. That is coming very soon to the channel and going to be very excited to get this franchise underway. And this schedule is not easy. I would like to say that it's uh, it's actually one of the more difficult schedules, especially when you look at how some of these teams compare to our current roster setup. We play obviously a lot of heady, heavy hitters and some guys and some teams that were obviously in the playoffs last season. So it's going to be a tough test all season long. We do have two primetime games Monday and Thursday nights so those will be great but we do have a very tough schedule post week 14 bye so the Giants who knows where they're going to be but the 49ers Browns and Cowboys to end the season so I'm going to be rolling obviously with Carson Wentz at quarterback and I wanted to jump into practice a little bit and it really wasn't so much focusing on the offense as it was focusing on the defense. I think the defense is obviously our strongest point so far in this franchise or at least starting off, but how strong are they? Are they going to be strong enough to hold us in games against, you know, the 49ers, the Eagles? and the Cowboys this season. We need a strong defense, and I just have a lot of questions with obviously the secondary and the linebacking core. I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing uh, to have holes in the defense, but I just, I worry sometimes that even if we do get the defensive pressure there, that we just don't have enough playmakers, um, especially in the linebacking core, to really make uh, some of the defensive schemes that we're going to be running with the New England defensive playbook. Uh, so we're going to have to keep an eye out on that as the season rolls on. So that's going to do it for the intro video here. I wanted to keep it short, sweet, and uh, just give you my opinion on the Washington Commanders as we move forward. The Commanders have a brand new ownership group. They have a brand new head coach in Gerard Mayo, and it's a brand new set of threads for them as well. I'm excited to get this franchise underway. Like I said, it is the first franchise on the channel since I want to say Madden 16. It has been a long, long time since I've had football here on the channel. I'm excited to get back to it. Week number one is coming later this week, going up against Jacksonville, a very, very good football team from a year ago. I think they're going to be a lot better than what everyone is predicting. A lot of studs over there, and they made some additions in the offseason, so catch that later this week if you are excited for the washington commanders franchise hit this video with a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe for some more madden 23 franchise content here on the channel thank you guys all so much for hanging out and as always i'll catch you guys later